so excited to be starting today's video and even mentioning what i'm doing but basically i am leaving for hawaii tomorrow morning on vacation and it is my first time ever traveling there hawaii has been a dream of mine for literally years and just a little fun fact i have actually booked hawaii so many times about three times in the past and each time somehow it fell through i also haven't felt the warm weather in like eight months or even much sun so there are so many things i want to say in this video but let's go on with our day i'm gonna be packing prepping doing everything i need to do to feel prepared before going on a tropical vacation so first things first, my nails, they are so grown out. I really need to do them, but we have so many things to get to today. So but yeah, let's go to the nail salon. <laughs> little moment for my nails i'm so obsessed with this color i haven't had color on my nails in forever i've been getting neutral colors for the past few months so i wanted to spice it up and these are just so cute they're like a bright turquoise color i also quickly went to the mall and just did my really quick shop that i normally do before travel so i just pick up essentials things that i need to grab i left out a couple details that i really want to share but just to quickly mention i'm staying on the island of oahu very close to waikiki beach actually i think it's in the waikiki beach area which i know is like very touristy but we do plan on exploring and kind of covering the full island while we are there and we are there for eight days and i'm going with my boyfriend and then another really close couple of ours and super sweet so i'm so excited to be traveling with them and they've also been to hawaii like five other times so i feel like they're the perfect people to go with I can give you guys a little bit of a haul, even though it's not that interesting, but I feel like these are always really fun if you are preparing for travel. Usually what I pick up is a fresh set of razors, so these will be my razors, I guess, for the trip. Some moisturizer. I picked up some shampoo and conditioner. This is the Duff shampoo and conditioner, and this honestly smells so good, and it makes my hair really soft, so I really love this. I picked out pink and blue mouthwash for us. A little Dove deodorant. I love the coconut flavor. And then from Sephora, I just grabbed a new beauty blender. This is the Morphe one, so that was kind of like my final stop before I have to pack. But anyway, let's go home and actually get organized and start our packing day <laughs> because I haven't gone through these in probably like seven months and it just feels good that I get to bring them on a trip and I'm going somewhere tropical. We have a lot to get through because I do have a lot of bathing suits. Also, I literally had the best shower. I feel like the showers you have before you go to the airport and before you travel literally feel so good because you know it's the last shower that you're gonna have before you actually get there. So I had like an everything shower where I shaved, took my time, did a hair mask treatment, basically just checked off all the steps that I could have done. So yeah, I'm feeling so good. But yeah, I'm so excited to go with my bathing suits right now. Um, I'm a little bit confused on which ones to bring because like I mentioned I haven't gone through them in like seven months and I totally forget how they all fit and which ones I like the most. First of all I have gotten a couple sent to me since the last time I traveled so I'm really excited about them. The first one is from Black Bow and it is like this gorgeous green one piece and I normally don't really wear one pieces but I feel like this is such a pretty color and it's just so comfortable. This one is just a triangle bikini. The bottoms are like this orange color and it's checkered. You guys can see there. So yeah this is the top. It is just checkered and then they also sent me this little cover up but i feel like just over my bathing suit it's like a little dress and it's a baby blue color it kind of matches my nails so that could be a moment but yeah i definitely want to pack this just a little honorary mention this is probably like my favorite bikini that i have it is actually from princess polly i need to get my hands on more of their bikinis because they're actually amazing but yeah it is like this really pretty pattern and then the top just looks like this it ties in the middle like a little bow this bikini was kindly sent to me by the brand wave babe i feel like bikinis look so funny when you put them up because they're so hard to
to tell how they fit but it is like this beautiful turquoise color this is a really fun top i have nothing like it and it kind of looks like this it actually fits really well i feel like the coverage on the sides and everything actually holds up really well it also comes with these like classic black bottoms so i really like the fit they're not too cheeky and that's just kind of how i like my bathing suits it's also so hard because i don't want bad tan lines but there's also like so many styles like i'm obsessed with this one from princess polly but i just don't know if it's necessary to bring that many one pieces because i feel like those are the last ones that i reach for i have this yellow top from black bow it actually has straps but it's really hard to hold it up and then we just have the yellow bottoms i also have this classic triangle top and it's from victoria's secret and these are the only bottoms that i found to match with it because i don't have the matching bottoms to that top but i feel like these will look really good with it <laughs> packing bathing suits i love packing ones that are like guaranteed good fit i always feel really comfortable on them just in case if i have other new bikinis that i don't know if i'm like familiar with them if they're totally comfortable oh my gosh also you guys i need to show you this one it is so cute i've never worn it before and i got it a few months ago so i've been waiting to actually find an occasion or like a vacation that i can finally go on and wear this but it is this silver sparkly very sparkly bathing suit and i've never had a sparkly bathing suit before so i feel like this is going to be super fun and then the bottoms are also super sparkly and silver and it is by the company wave babe so yeah you guys can check them out hello you guys so i'm actually filming this on a different day but i just wanted to share a little clothing haul it's a lot of the things that i'm going to be wearing on this hawaii trip and i also already wore so many times in the month of february like i think these are actually probably my most worn pieces in the month of february and i just love them so much so everything is going to be from revolve today if you guys follow me on instagram which if you don't you should um i post a lot of my outfit photos on there like when i went to fashion week and just overall i feel like week to week i love shooting outfit content Content. If you want to check them out for yourselves, I'm gonna have everything linked below in my revolve link I think it's so hard to find perfect denim shorts and I think these are them I'm so in love with them They're basically these denim shorts by the brand super down and they're definitely gonna be my go-to's when it comes to summer But yeah, I actually love the denim from super down. I have a couple pairs of jeans from them I'm actually wearing them right now You guys can kind of get the fit but I feel like they're so flattering and these shorts fit the exact same way So I'm obsessed with them. I know you guys are gonna love this top. It's so cute It's like all ruffly which is something I'm obsessed with. It's actually zipped down right now, but it's it's very form hugging right at the waist and then the rest is just like super ruffly this top is also beautiful i feel like it's such a good staple even though it is actually like a sparkly gold top i think it's so beautiful so i feel like with jeans or even like white denim or like a cut off denim skirt i feel like this is so cute all these dresses i actually wore at new york fashion week and i'm so in love with them and i feel like even after you wash them they just keep their shape but i'm just gonna insert a photo of this one right here because it's gonna be much easier to see but yeah it is like this long blue dress it is so beautiful i feel like it just reminds me of like aquamarine this this is another one of my favorites and one that I definitely plan to rewear at a different occasion but it's like this baby doll style dress so this is the top part you can kind of see how like the bra is outlined and then the bottom is just super flowy and really pretty and then the shoulders just kind of fall off your shoulders so yeah I just love dresses like this because I know I keep them in my closet for years if they fit me well and I feel like I always get that with revolve this is another really interesting cool dress I'll show you guys what it looks like but it's basically like this longer style dress I'll insert a photo of me wearing it because I feel like that's the best way that you can tell. I post this on my Instagram and I got so many replies of people saying they love this skirt. It is this white mini skirt. It looks like this. It just has like a really slight slit on the thigh area and it's super thick and double lined. So yeah, everything will be linked in my Revolve link down below and just a huge thank you to Revolve. I genuinely love their pieces so much and I do scroll through their website in my free time. So in this bag, I'm packing all my toiletries and my skincare. I feel like it's the part that I just like getting out of the way. I have a ton of these little toiletry bags. And I just basically pack up my stuff based on the category of the item. So for example, I'll have a bag for skincare. I'll have like a washroom kind of like toiletry bag where I'll put my shampoos, moisturizers, deodorant, toothbrush, things like that. I remember I used to travel so heavy and I would literally bring every single item I had because I felt like I needed it even though I really didn't. So I didn't do it for this trip, but sometimes I will get the small little containers that are travel size and fill up my products in those or just like picking through my products and picking out the smallest items so we have a lot of packing to do and honestly i am a little bit stressed for time it's six o'clock and i probably have until like nine o'clock which should be fine but i really just have to get going and start packing up everything so let's pack up all of our toiletries and then we're gonna get into clothes and all that fun stuff <music> 
I'm packing up some body sunscreen. The weather's actually supposed to be really good while we're there. My fingers are crossed because there has been a lot of storms and I guess rain on the weather forecast in Hawaii. But even if it is opposite, I will still be happy because I will literally still be in Hawaii. Okay, this seems really stuffed, but at the same time, there are so many items in here. We have our toiletry bag all done. My goal this time is to fit all my makeup in this little bag, which normally I travel with a much larger bag, but I feel like since it's Hawaii, I don't really want to wear too much makeup every day. And I feel like it's not necessary for me to pack like all of my makeup. We need to pack the essentials. I'm definitely going to be bringing the It Cosmetic CC Cream. This is super like luminous and glowy and really light. Also the Say Glowy Skin Gel. This stuff is amazing. I feel like this is going to be really good because I can also wear it alone to the beach if I don't want to wear any makeup, which I normally don't wear any makeup to the beach. So I feel like this will be perfect. One of my favorite products is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, the Huda Baking Powder, the Benetint Love Tint. This is an It Cosmetics No Tuck Shadow Stick and it's in a really pretty highlight color. So I want to pack that. My MAC Studio Fix powder and this is in the color NW40 So I actually got it in kind of like a bronzer shade, but it is a little bit higher coverage So so yeah, i'm obsessed with this i'm gonna bring these two for concealers because I don't have a perfect shade The milani baked blush eyebrow stuff mascara eyelash curler my new beauty blender Okay, this is kind of getting really full and i'm still gonna try I have a lot of perfume samples So I always like to pack those I have a little bit of eyebrow gel in here So i'm gonna put that in here. What could I be forgetting now for lip products? I'm just gonna be shoving a bunch of my favorite ones mac lip liner in world okay we are closing this thing up because i don't think it can accept any further makeup so we need to shut this that is it for makeup i'm actually really happy i'm bringing a smaller bag than normal because i feel like makeup takes so much space and also don't even mind me saying that i'm packing light for makeup because i know that this is not light but i feel like it's light for me because i normally bring like foundation a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and like a ton of things so this is light for me i definitely know in reality that is not light at all also you guys i'm so excited about these i got them on amazon let me just show you how cute these colors are they're like like all pastels basically all the cutest colors but i will leave these in my amazon storefront yeah for the last couple months i really enjoyed filming my makeup for instagram reels or tiktok and it has just been so fun because i've been passionate about makeup for so long so anything like this or like these headbands which i have another like 10 of these i'm basically obsessed with and i have an addiction to purchasing when i see them <laughs> packing up is my jewelry and i always use this travel jewelry box it is so convenient and keeps all my jewelry in one place so i'm just packing that up it is actually from anna louisa which i love <music> And I think at this point I had like one hour left before I had to finish up all my packing So that last hour we we're using to pack up all my clothes and everything into the suitcase My favorite method is rolling my clothes I feel like it saves so much space and I also like pairing up the different items together So i'll keep all of my dresses together all my tops together my pajamas together my pants everything like that I just categorize them. So that's what my suitcase looks like very colorful And then the final most satisfying part is zipping up my suitcase Which we finally did and that was the very last thing I had to to do before being ready to go to the airport finally on the airplane we are going to hawaii i was literally so excited in this moment and i just edited a video to let the time pass since the flight was during the day so i had enough sleep the best feeling ever was when i finally saw the water and that was right before we landed in honolulu and we got there it was so beautiful it was literally so warm outside which felt so good after not feeling that for so many months and then this is our hotel that we arrived at if you guys have any questions about where i stayed i actually stayed at the alahalani the view was absolutely stunning i cannot get over it i'm now actually in canada when i'm doing this voiceover and i would do anything to be back there looking at this it was so gorgeous outside and then i just basically put all of my items away in categories like i mentioned that i put them in and i also thought i had sound on but for some reason i was filming at a really weird setting so i didn't have any sound but i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and the next video will be my hawaii vlog let me know. You always let me know my